Luminous efficacy is a measure of how well a light source produces visible light. It is the ratio of luminous flux to power. Depending on context, the power can be either the radiant flux of the source's output, or it can be the total power consumed by the source. Which sense of the term is intended must usually be inferred from the context, and is sometimes unclear. The former sense is sometimes called luminous efficacy of radiation, and the latter luminous efficacy of a source. The luminous efficacy of a source is a measure of the efficiency with which the source provides visible light from electricity. The luminous efficacy of radiation describes how well a given quantity of electromagnetic radiation from a source produces visible light, the ratio of luminous flux to radiant flux. Not all wavelengths of light are equally visible, or equally effective at stimulating human vision, due to the spectral sensitivity of the human eye. Radiation in the infrared and ultraviolet parts of the spectrum is useless for illumination. The overall luminous efficacy of a source is the product of how well it converts energy to electromagnetic radiation, and how well the emitted radiation is detected by the human eye. Efficacy and Efficiency In some systems of units, luminous flux has the same units as radiant flux. The luminous efficacy of radiation is then dimensionless. In this case, it is often instead called the luminous efficiency, and may be expressed as a percentage. A common choice is to choose units such that the maximum possible efficacy, 683 a lumen per watt, corresponds to an efficiency of 100%. The distinction between efficacy and efficiency is not always carefully maintained in published sources, so it is not uncommon to see efficiencies expressed in lumens per watt, or efficacies expressed as a percentage. The luminous coefficient is luminous efficiency expressed as a value between 0 and 1 with one corresponding to an efficacy of 683 a lumen per watt. Luminous efficacy of radiation, explanation. Wavelengths of light outside the visible spectrum are not useful for illumination because they cannot be seen by the human eye. Furthermore, the eye responds more to some wavelengths of light than others, even within the visible spectrum. This response of the eye is represented by the luminosity function. This is a standardized function which represents the response of a typical eye under bright conditions. One can also define a similar curve for dim conditions. When neither is specified, photopic conditions are generally assumed. Luminous efficacy of radiation measures the fraction of electromagnetic power which is useful for lighting. It is obtained by dividing the luminous flux by the radiant flux. Light with wavelengths outside the visible spectrum reduces luminous efficacy, because it contributes to the radiant flux while the luminous flux of such light is zero. Wavelengths near the peak of the eye's response contribute more strongly than those near the edges. In SI, luminous efficacy has units of lumens per watt. Photopic luminous efficacy of radiation has a maximum possible value of 683 a lumen per watt, for the case of monochromatic light at a wavelength of 555 nm. Scotopic luminous efficacy of radiation reaches a maximum of 1700 a lumen per watt for narrow band light of wavelength 507 nm. Mathematical definition, the dimensionless luminous efficiency measures the integrated fraction of the radiant power that contributes to its luminous properties as evaluated by means of the standard luminosity function. The luminous coefficient is where, E is the standard luminosity function, G is the spectral power distribution of the radiant intensity. The luminous coefficient is unity for a narrow band of wavelengths at 555 nanometers. Note that is an inner product between and and that is the one norm of Examples, photopic vision, scotopic vision. Lighting efficiency, artificial light sources are usually evaluated in terms of luminous efficacy of a source, also sometimes called overall luminous efficacy. This is the ratio between the total luminous flux emitted by a device and the total amount of input power it consumes. It is also sometimes referred to as the wall plug luminous efficacy or simply wall plug efficacy. The overall luminous efficacy is a measure of the efficiency of the device with the output adjusted to account for the spectral response curve. When expressed in dimensionless form, this value may be called overall luminous efficiency, wall plug luminous efficiency, 
or simply the lighting efficiency. The main difference between the luminous efficacy of radiation and the luminous efficacy of a source is that the latter accounts for input energy that is lost as heat or otherwise exits the source as something other than electromagnetic radiation. Luminous efficacy of radiation is a property of the radiation emitted by a source. Luminous efficacy of a source is a property of the source as a whole. Examples the following table lists luminous efficacy of a source and efficiency for various light sources. Note that all lamps requiring electrical electronic ballast are unless noted listed without losses for that, reducing total efficiency. Sources that depend on thermal emission from a solid filament, such as incandescent light bulbs, tend to have low overall efficacy because, as explained by Donald L. Klipstein, a Euro OE an ideal thermal radiator produces visible light most efficiently at temperatures around 6300 AA degrees Celsius. Even at this high temperature, a lot of the radiation is either infrared or ultraviolet, and the theoretical luminous efficacy is 95 lumens per watt. No substance is solid and usable as a light bulb filament at temperatures anywhere close to this. The surface of the sun is not quite that hot a euro at temperatures where the tungsten filament of an ordinary light bulb remains solid, most of its emission is in the infrared. SI photometry units. See also, photometry, light pollution, wall plug efficiency a euro a related principle, but slightly different, coefficient of utilization, notes, ABC defined such that the maximum value possible is 100%. Most efficient source you can do that mimics solar spectrum only within range of visual sensitivity, a b integral of truncated Planck function times photopic luminosity function times 683 a watt per steradian, according to the definition of the candela. 1, a b truncates the very poor sensitivity and as such insignificant parts of the visible spectrum, a b truncates the very poor sensitivity and as such insignificant parts of the visible spectrum. 1 candela for i euro radians per 40 w, references. External links, Hyperphysics has these graphs of efficacy that do not quite comply with the standard definition, energy efficient light bulbs, other power.